Hello everybody, I'm going to talk about software bet leveling on the Ultimaker original. So what are we trying to solve here? Bet leveling works fine on the Ultimaker original, but there are a couple of things. First, making changes to that odd hand, like going back and forth from the Ultimaker stock nozzle to an E3D nozzle, is a bit of pain because you cannot adjust the different in height with the adjustment screw from the bet. You will have to move the Z switch at the back of the printer and that's really a pain to set and then even routine adjustment if you go from one nozzle to another or if you change the build plate it requires you to completely re-level your build plate because you cannot just change one screw you have to adjust all four of them and then finally a small annoyance is when you do a home the bed will come against the head so if there is a bit of filament oozing, it, m it will eventually stick to the nozzle. So what are the alternatives? You can go for fancy auto bed leveling, which requires special sensor and other things. Or you can look at a more pragmatic solution and do software adjustable bed leveling, just like the Ultimaker 2 printers are doing. So this is the approach I've taken here. Software bed leveling is not just about software. There is a little bit of hardware needed to make it work. And there are two ways of doing this. Homing at the bottom, just like the Ultimaker 2 is doing. This works very well. The stock Ultimaker original, so without the heated bed kit, already has an end-stop switch at the bottom. And for the newer ones, the AutoQ has published a very simple design to hold the switch at the bottom of the printer. Now, the stock Ultimaker original, so again, the one without the heated bed, has a very slow Z stage. And I find it not always practical as I tend to store a lot of stuff at the bottom of my printer. Alternatively, you can decide to home at the top, but we need to be able to home lower than the zero position to leave room for adjustment. So this is what I have done on my printer. I use a proximity sensor which is lower than the original mechanical switch. It is not in the way of the bed and it triggers on a Z screw of the Z stage cap. I also left the original switch in place as a safety measure, so in any case, the bed plate won't crash too hard on the head. Now that the hardware is in place, let's look at the firmware. We are going to use our builder to generate a new firmware. And we go to the experimental branch for now. So first step is choosing the printer. And I'm going to select display fund percentage and action command protocol for my octoprint. But let's look at the Z stage, which is currently the latest option on this page. First is about the hardware here, about the Z home stage switch. By default, if you use the Ultimaker switch, they are normally open, so you don't have to do anything. Just in my case, the sensor I'm using is a normally closed switch, so I need to take this option. And then we go to software bed leveling. There is a bit of explanation here. I'm coming back on that in a minute. But the only thing you need to do is to state your decision. Am I going to home at the top or at the bottom? So, and again, in case you choose the bottom option, just look at the nice design from Neo Tokyo on Umagine and how to place the switch, how to mount the switch at the bottom of your printer. But let's come back to the builder. Uh, I'm homing at the top and in case you home at the top there is a important setting you probably need to adjust is the Z home retract so when we home the printer we need to be sure that the bed is going to come under the reference switch and my sensor is triggering something like about 15 millimeter under the actual mechanical switch so I'm going to put here 20 millimeter so that I'm sure that in, in any case my bed will ohm under my sensor. And that's basically it. So we click on the bit build firmware, wait for a couple of seconds, and the build is complete. Always double check in the build lock that there is no error, that everything went fine. Okay, no problem here. So let's download the firmware. And we're going to flash the firmware on the printer. So typically you will use Cura 
Uh, I normally never connect a computer to, to my printer, but I, I have this Octopi Raspberry Pi server running, so I'm just copying the firmware onto the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to flash it from the command line. Okay, so the flash is running. So while we have that, let's come back to the little note I have here. And what I wanted to mention is that all these software bet leveling things is nothing else than leveraging the M206 G code command, which will offset your X for homing. And the offset will be saved in EEPROM, which means that it remains active when you switch off the printer. Now, the trick is, if you want to go back to your standard hardware and standard firmware, then this M206 offset will stay active. So you won't home at the right position. So typically what you should do is, before going to another firmware, is to reset your offset to zero. Now, if you forget that, it's not a big deal. You don't have to come back. Uh, you can either reset all your EEPROM parameter, but then you will lose every other change you make in, in your EEPROM. But you can also issue the, the following two G code command is the M206 at zero, which will clear up the Z offset and obviously not um, forget to save it in EEPROM, so the M500. So you can issue this command using Printerface, for example, or Octoprint if you are using Octoprint. So that's about the note which is here. So our software has been uploaded to the printer, so let's go for a quick demo of the software bet leveling. The bet leveling setup is hidden under the prepare menu at the very end and is called adjust set offset. So only one option when you start, reset the offset and home. So the printer will first home Z and then X, Y and put the head at the middle. Then you can go to the quick adjust, which will move the bed one millimeter by one millimeter and you move it close enough to the nozzle. And then you can switch to the fine adjust. And the fine adjust will move the bed by one hundredth of millimeter. So you can go closer and closer and use either your usual sheet of paper. I'm using a one tenth millimeter gauge to put my nozzle very close to the bed. Okay, that's it. I'm happy with the setup and I can check on the corner of the build plate now with the preset position and move front left, front right and at the back of the printer. Again, I can use the, the small gauge and I will then use the set screw from the bed plate to set it right. Okay, we are all good now, so let's just save the setup and we're going to home the printer and check how it looks. So as you can see, the home is not touching the build plate anymore, but stays under, which is already good. and. Also on the main screen, the Z is 1464, so this is what we saved in the setup. So let's make a test print, so we won't wait that the head is warm. Again, printer is homing, not touching the build plate, and once it's ready to go, just go and start printing. So let's interrupt this print now and show you something else.
if we go back to our Z adjustment menu now, we will see that we now have a second item home and move to Z0. So instead of restarting from the beginning, it will just bring the bed to the Z0 position and allow you to fine tune the position. So we're going here directly in the fine adjustment menu and just an example, let's adjust by 200 of millimeter. We then need to save. I will now do an auto home and you will see on the main screen that the Z offset has been adjusted. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video about software bed leveling. Thank you for watching.